Hi! In this video I'm going to explain one of the ways that I like to complete a black work section um, and that is working it by sections. So you can see that in this pattern we've got these sort of medallion style roses um, and then we've also got these little crisscross shapes. Um, so what I've done before this video obviously is I've filled in all of the medallion shapes um, and then I've come back and filled in the crisscross shapes and you can see I've just got a few to finish off here which is what showing what I'm doing in this video. So all I'm doing um, is going around these shapes, these medallion roses, I'm just going to outline around them and come back and outline around the next row and that will leave me a little gap for this little sort of four pronged square that's in the centre there. Uh, black work is a very systematic thing to do, so if you can look for the repeats and you can count them out in your head, then you shouldn't have a need to look back at a pattern, which is really useful because if you are looking at a pattern all the time to do some piece of work as big as this, then you would be wasting a lot of time. So <laughs> if you're good at maths, you'll probably be good at this. And again, I've come back round here and I'm just, as I said, outlining the next row as well um, and that's just leaving me with these little empty cross shapes which I'm going to come back and fill in in a moment. There are other ways to work black work as well. Um, one of them is to work it in rows. So for example if you've got a pattern that only has one repeat, this has two, um, then you would just work it left to right or up and down and you would just keep going in rows um, but this one because it's got two different elements to it it's a bit easier to work one of the elements and then come back for the other one and I've got another tutorial video that will be up shortly after this in a few days um, and that will show another example of a black work pattern and working it in sections um, and there will also be a video on working it in rows but it is sometimes easier to spot a pattern that you can work in rows than it is to spot one that you can work in sections because sometimes people can't see the different repeats, they only see one. So again, I'm coming back now and I'm just doing the four little um, sort of prongs um, to each of these sections and then coming back and filling in this little square in the middle. It's quite a time consuming technique, black work, but it's also something that's really good to pick up and put down because, as I said, if your brain works in the right way, you don't even have to look at a pattern um, and you don't have to worry about spacing the stitches evenly or anything because it's all counted out, so it does that for you. So it can be really relaxing to switch your brain off and do something like this that you don't have to think about. So the confusing part of a counted black work pattern is when you get to the end of something like this where it's actually falling off the edge um, and you can't necessarily see what you're doing as well because it's not a full repeat. You've just got to try your best with that. If you keep counting you should get it right. Thanks for watching, I hope you find this helpful.